Hey guys, I'm uh, so Time Machine with my notebook here. Uh, if you want to see the review of this, this notebook, um, be sure to go to my channel and check it out. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're having a top 5 budget smartphones in 2014. As you know, a lot of budget smartphones right now, sorry, and uh, a lot of smartphones right now uh, tend to expensive. So, uh, a lot of Chinese companies and some of the, uh, Sam, some of the um, famous companies like Apple, Samsung, they release some budget smartphones for their liking. Uh, well, let's just start off with top number five, which is the Xiaomi Redmi One S. If you are in China, uh, in China, they're calling this a Xiaomi Redmi One. -S. As who's farting? Um, this phone uh is has a wait a minute I'm just it has a quad core one point six gigahertz uh wait a minute Qualcomm Snapdragon uh six hundred processor maybe uh, a two-year-old processor a quad-core 1.6 GHz processor uh, it uses a old processor that you find on the last gen uh, flagship smartphone that you find in the Galaxy S4 the Pad Phone Infinity and the Sony Xperia Z not the Z1 but the original Z or the Z um, it has a 4.7 inch display, uh, 720p, uh, about 312 pixels per inch. What I don't like, uh, let's let's talk about why it sits in fifth place. It's because it's a storage and it's RAM. The price is very really cheap, but the internal storage and the RAM let down, um, dropped its um, places. To number five so that's why number four is actually the Xiaomi Redmi Note uh, some of you some of you from China uh, may call this Xiaomi Redmi Xiaomi Homey Note um, this is the uh, not the cheapest certainly um, not certainly certainly not the um, Ex most expensive but it's the most heaviest this is a very heavy phone the phone itself is really big it's a 5.5 inch uh, display 7 inch to 5 on the Note 2 um, 267 pixels per inch the detail on the screen is not as exquisite as you find on the Hongmi 1S or Redmi 1S uh, it has a big, uh, wait a minute. It has a big uh battery, about three thousand milliampere battery, three thousand one hundred milliampere battery, and it has a eight gigabyte storage, two gigabytes of RAM. If you buy the MediaTek or three G version, the four G version will give you one gigabyte of RAM and a Qualcomm processor. Uh, the, the one I talk about is the two gigabytes of RAM with the MediaTek MT six one nine two optical processor. Uh, it has a one point. It clocked at one point seven gigahertz. A first four cores, first performance cores, and another f uh, power efficient cores run at about one point three gigahertz. Let's move on to number three. The number three, number three sits by the Asus Zenfone 4 A450CG. You might blame me, oh this phone is not very good. The storage is the same as the um, 1S but the phone is surprisingly well designed and it's designed by Johnny Shi. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's the chief designer 
uh, I don't know who he is, maybe he's a chief designer. Uh, he designed the whole Zenfone line, and the design was pretty, really good. Um, okay. It has a 4.5 inch display with a uh, 54 by 480 uh, pixel resolution, and it's kept around 218 pixels per inch. You know, uh, but these smartphones generally have cheap displays, uh, low end, maybe low resolution display. Uh, it's the same is the same in here. Uh, it has an 8 megapixel camera, uh, and a front facing VGA camera. Uh, it has a Android 4.2 that Xiaomi and uh, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S and Redmi Note doesn't have it. Really, really good there. Good job, Asus. Oops, sorry. I'm 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 and the second place, move on to the Zenfone 5. The Zenfone 5 has a 5 inch 720p display that is 294 pixels per inch. Uh, a little bit better than better than the uh, others, I would say. Generally better. Uh, it has uh, 16 gigabytes of storage if you buy the expensive ones. I mean, wait a minute, I'll just adjust the seat. Okay. If you buy the expensive expensive models, you have the 16 gigabytes of storage compared to 8 gigabytes. Both the models has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the processor is actually an Intel Atom Z2560. It's clocked at quad core 1.2, 1.6 gigahertz maybe. Yeah. Before we move on to first place, let's talk about some honorable mentions. Uh, some honorable mentions. Uh, the Huawei Honor 3C. If you consider that, uh, it's the hardest budget smartphone in the Malaysia because it's, it's the first budget smartphone that came to Malaysia and it's very very hit. But the specs are very dated, so I put in honorable mention section, so don't blame me. Uh, I also put the Oppo Neo 5 because it's not the best price perform per, per, <laughs> price per, per performance ratio phone, but but it's very really small, so I wouldn't recommend that phone if you had to. If you like small phones, maybe it's your choice. Maybe it's your choice to it. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this third is a Samsung Galaxy Core 2. Uh, the, I don't know the general specs, but some say it has a quad-core processor, uh, for every display. It's still the best. Uh, it's not the most, most perfect ones, but Generally, it's not that bad. If you want a, if you love Samsung, maybe yeah, this consider this one. And then the Lenovo S five eighty, S five eighty, maybe the newest uh, budget smartphone from the Lenovo. Uh, it's the S line, so you expect that will be stylish because the Lenovo S S series is generally, generally um, uh, more stylish and a performance um, phone for the for those who want it. And the last honorable mention is the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. Uh, it's also newest. Um, I wouldn't recommend this phone if you want it, but it's still the best. The number one list of the top five budget smartphone is the Huawei Honor Oli or the Huawei Honor 3C Lite if you in Malaysia 
Um, it has a really, really good specs. Uh, I mean, it has a quad core 1.3 gigahertz a Cortex A7 uh, processor. Some say the processor is not very good. Uh, it's the same one that you find on the um, for uh the Novo Tab, some of the Novo tablet, some the Huawei Honor 3 C, but the uh, the highlight of this phone it has a 16 gigabytes of memory yeah 16 gigabytes of internal memory that's almost 8 gigabytes more than you get on the asus zen phone if you talk about 8 gigabytes but it's the same but you see android 4.4.2 8 megapixel camera 2 megapixel front facing camera 5-inch display and generally I have a hard time to choose the first place but after I heard a lot of recommend recommendation from my friends they say this phone was the best of the bunch so I mean it's so cheaper than the Asus Zenfone 5 but you have the performance of the Zenfone 5 and that's that's it from this video. Uh, I'm doing a Sony Xperia Z3 ROM game review, so stay tuned for that. And subscribe it if you want to know more. Uh, okay, that's all for me. Thanks for watching.